For the first time, we're going to hear from someone involved in the case, an exclusive interview with the young woman who says she created this page to trick a 13-year-old St. Louis girl who later killed herself. She and two others posed as a teenage boy and befriended the girl online and then sent a series of messages that may have pushed her over the edge, she fears. ABC's Deborah Roberts has more on all of this, Deborah. Diane, so many people have asked, where were the adults in this situation? Well, in an exclusive interview, the young woman who is at the center of all of this is speaking out for the first time and says there was an adult there. And worse, she was taking part. In the year and a half since Megan Meyer took her own life at age 13, her small, close-knit neighborhood still is struggling to heal. Just months ago, Megan's parents, Ron and Tina, could barely contain their pain. My life is nothing even remotely resembles what it was before. Lost the daughter, the family, just everything that was about us as a family as a whole no longer is never will be. Tina Meyer will never forget the anguish her impressionable daughter felt when a boy calling himself Josh Evans on the popular social networking site MySpace suddenly turned mean and insulting. Tina ordered Megan off the computer and her daughter stormed off to her room. I went upstairs and um, opened the door and saw her hanging in the closet and um, screamed and ran over and tried picking her up. Six weeks later, they learned there was no Josh Evans, that it was all a cruel hoax created in the home of neighbors Lori and Kurt Drew, whose 13-year-old daughter was unhappy with Megan. While authorities investigated, Lori Drew denied involvement, pointing the finger at this woman, 19-year-old Ashley Grills, as the mastermind of the fake account. But Grills, a longtime family friend of the Drews, insists that Lori was deeply involved in the deception. Who said, let's go online? Um, that was me and her daughter. And then she said, that sounds like a good idea. Lori Drew said that? Yes. So she was in from the beginning? Yes. No doubt in your mind? No doubt. And then you created the character? Yes. Ashley says she found a photo of a good-looking teenager and named him Josh Evans. Josh then contacted Megan. It was a prank, she says, to find out if Megan was gossiping about the Drew's daughter. What did you know about that friendship and whether there was any trouble between them? There was always trouble. They'd be friends one week and in an argument the next. The fake friendship went on for weeks with Josh flirting with Megan. And did everybody take turns writing at some point? Um, basically, yes. Lori, ever? A couple of times. So Lori actually sent messages as well? When we didn't know what to say. You're sure? I'm positive. Now Lori Drew has said through her lawyer that she did not create or direct anyone to create the Josh Evans MySpace account, that it was really all your idea. True? Yeah, that's not true at all. Why would she say that? To cover her own self, I guess. So you go on and you're typing and you're going back and forth and it's fairly innocent. Then it starts to get nasty. Mm -hmm. Nasty messages. Yes. Then there's finally a really nasty message. Do you mm -hmm. remember it? Yes. What did it say? A world would be a better place without you. Who wrote that? I did. I was trying to get her angry so she would leave him alone and I could get rid of the whole MySpace. So you yeah. wanted to end it? Yeah. By now, Ashley says she was feeling guilty about the trick. So this message is sent out, and then something terrible happens in the Meyer household. Yes. What is going on there? My daughter just hung herself. It was October 16, 2006, when the Meyer's world was shattered. What did you think? What did you feel? I thought it was my fault. So what goes through your mind when you hear that a teenage girl that you all just played a joke on has committed suicide? A lot of things. Like it was my fault. <laughs> I shouldn't have said what I said. She says that Kurt Drew insisted that she quickly close down the MySpace account and that Lori instructed her to keep quiet. 
For a year, Megan's parents remained silent while Missouri officials investigated, but they soon went public with their story. A firestorm erupted with Ashley Grills right in the middle. Weeks ago, she testified before a grand jury in California, where MySpace is based. Criminal charges are being considered there. What kinds of things did you hear from people? They would tell me to kill myself and save everybody the trouble. People say they don't understand it. How could this have happened? Who could be so cruel? Who's to blame? I guess all of us. I mean, I'm partially to blame. They are partially to blame. What do you want people to know about you? That I'm not heartless. I do know what I did, and I take responsibility for it every day. She is torn up over the situation. When contacting the Drews lawyers last night, they told us that they stand by the original statement that Lori Drew did not create or direct anyone to create the Josh Evans MySpace account. And though she was aware of it, that she never sent any messages, Diane. So, of course, it's a he said, she said, she said, but uh, a horrible situation that could now result in maybe criminal charges. It's just agony. This story, isn't it? And there's no going back. And this young girl says, you know, you have to be careful what you say online because someone could be hanging on to your every word. All right. Thanks so much to you. In a flash, be the first to know what's coming up on Good Morning America tomorrow with the GMA Daily Flash email. All the great insider details you want to know from GMA. Go to ABCNews.com, click the GMA page, and sign up for the Daily Flash. And you can even enter to win the weekly GMA Flash gift bag giveaway. Sign up now.